The fifth wedding anniversary bracelet. The fifth wedding anniversary of the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh was in 1952, the year she took the throne. As an anniversary gift, the Duke commissioned from a bracelet of his own design, made from gold, platinum, diamonds, rubies and sapphires. Philip's design includes his naval badge in the centre with a diamond set anchor, two roses set with diamonds and accented by rubies, two crosses of sapphires and a single diamond, one cross of rubies and a single diamond and a gold link designed as intertwined E and P letters. The Diamond Maple Leaf Brooch it holds baguette cut diamonds mounted in platinum, formed in the shape of a sugar maple tree leaf, the national emblem of Canada. The brooch was originally presented to Queen Elizabeth, later the Queen Mother, on her tour of Canada with her husband in 1939. The Red Flower Posy Brooch this brooch is a posy of small red ruby flowers on a long stem. It was a gift from the Duke of Edinburgh in the 1960s. The Queen's Diamond Evening Watch The Queen's formal evening attire often includes a bracelet of some variety on her right wrist and an evening watch on the left, the watch has two rows of diamonds separated by individual diamonds and a face in a diamond frame. The multicolour pendant brooch. The main portion of this brooch features stones in three light colours, blue, pink and yellow, plus white stones and a surrounding design and a blue stone pendant. Queen Mary's Diamond Bar Choker Bracelet It was first a necklace featuring a series of diamond bars. It was one of several diamond chokers in Queen Mary's collection. It later appears as a bracelet. The Richmond Brooch It was made by Hunt and Rascal in 1893 and given to Queen Mary as a wedding present. She wore it on her honeymoon and bequeathed it to Elizabeth after her death. It features diamonds set with two pearls, one large round centre pearl and the detachable pearl, as well as a pear-shaped pearl drop component that is removable. This grand diamond piece is one of the largest within Elizabeth's collection. The County of Cornwall Bracelet the bracelet was one of the pieces that Mary chose to pass along to her granddaughter, at the time Princess Elizabeth. As a wedding present, the central rose can detach from the bracelet to be worn as a pendant or a brooch. The badge of the Cold Stream Guards The oldest regular regiment in the British Army takes the form of the Star of the Order of the Garter, England's oldest order of chivalry. It includes St George's Cross in the centre, surrounded by the blue garter, with the motto, Shame on he who thinks ill of it, in Latin. The Pearl Triangle Brooch An unusually long, narrow diamond triangle includes two pearls and a yellow diamond in an ornate vertical diamond frame. The Royal Regiment of Canadian Artillery Jubilee Badge The Queen was presented with a special Jubilee version of a regiment badge by the Royal Regiment 
of Canadian artillery. It includes a maple leaf background of 60 diamonds set in platinum, gold cannon with the number 60 on top, and a crown with emeralds, rubies and sapphires. The regiment's motto, everywhere, with a right and glory lead, in Latin, is set in gold around the central elements. The Queen's Pearl Evening Watch The Queen has been seen wearing this watch since 1953. It is a pearl bracelet of five strands, with a diamond clasp and central watch face in a diamond frame. Surrounding the watch face on either side are shorter pearl strands that hang down. The Diamond Quatrefoil Bracelet The wide diamond bracelet features multiple diamond quatrefoil motifs. The four-lobe design popular in architecture, art, heraldry and elsewhere. Each quatrefoil outline is filled with five individual diamonds. The Royal Regiment of Scotland Badge the Queen is Colonel-in-Chief of the Royal Regiment of Scotland and of course she has a brooch form of the badge to wear on all appropriate occasions. The Lion is the Lion Rampant of the Royal Standard of Scotland. The X behind it is the Saltire of St Andrew and the banner below bears the regiment motto No one provokes me with impunity. In Latin, the badge is topped by a crown. The multicolour floral spray brooch. A Cartier floral spray set with sapphires, rubies, diamonds and an aquamarine which her parents gave her in 1943. The Deli Derber bracelet. Made for Queen Mary for the Deli Derber. The bracelet that goes with the Delhi Derba Perot includes three emeralds plus diamonds, all set in platinum and gold. The Duchy of Lancaster Badge The Queen is the current Duke of Lancaster and she has a brooch associated with the Duchy of Lancaster Court of Arms. The brooch includes a silver feather and a gold lion with diamond accents standing on a blue banner that reads Sovereign. Queen Mary's Russian brooch. The brooch which is set with a large diamond and sugarloaf sapphire was Mary's wedding gift from her new husband Romanov and Empress Maria Fyodorovna of Russia in the summer of 1893. She liked to wear the brooch pinned horizontally. The Queen inherited the brooch in 1959. The Brazil Perua. This is one of the newest items of jewellery in the collection. In 1953, the President and people of Brazil presented Queen Elizabeth II with the coronation gift of a necklace and matching pendant, earrings of aquamarines and diamonds. The necklace has nine large oblong aquamarines with an even bigger aquamarine pendant drop. Elizabeth had the drop set in a more decorative diamond cluster and it is now detachable. She was so delighted with the gift that in 1957 she had a tiara made to match the necklace. The tiara is surmounted by three vertically set aquamarines. Seeing that she had so liked the original coronation gift, the government of Brazil decided to add to its gift and in 1958 it presented her with a bracelet of oblong aquamarines set in a cluster of diamonds and a square aquamarine and diamond brooch. The George VI Victorian Suite 
It was originally a wedding present by King George VI to his daughter Elizabeth in 1947. It consists of a long necklace of oblong sapphires and diamonds and a pair of matching square sapphire earrings, also bordered with diamonds. It was originally made in 1850. The stones exactly match the colour of the robes of the Order of the Garter. Elizabeth had the necklace shortened by removing the biggest sapphire in 1952 and later had a new pendant made using the removed stone. In 1963, a new sapphire and diamond tiara and bracelet were made to match the original pieces. The tiara is made out of a necklace that had belonged to Princess Louise of Belgium, daughter of Leopold II in 1969. The Wedding Gift Bracelet Made from diamonds taken from a tiara that belonged to the Duke's mother, Princess Andrew of Greece and Denmark, born Princess Alice of Battenberg, a remarkable woman set in platinum. The wedding gift took the form of a wide bracelet featuring stepped geometric motifs centered around the three large diamonds. It's quite a statement piece due to its width and the Queen has continued to wear it from the early years of her marriage through today. The Welsh Guards Badge the Welsh Guards presented the Queen, their Colonel-in-Chief, with a platinum and diamond brooch in the shape of a leek, which is both the form of the cap badge and the national emblem of Wales. Queen Mary's Pearl and Diamond Floral Bracelet This has five strands of pearls in gradual sizes and a diamond clasp. The clasp is a diamond flower featuring five petals around a diamond centre. Each petal has a large central diamond surrounded by several smaller diamonds to form a petal with curved dimensions. The Sapphire Cluster Ring This is a basic sapphire cluster ring featuring a central oval sapphire surrounded by diamonds. The Sapphire and Ruby Coronation Rings a Ruby cross on a sapphire background surrounded by diamonds. The larger ring is called the Sovereign's Ring and was made for King William IV in 1831. This ring was worn by the Queen at her coronation. A near identical ring in a more petite scale was made for Queen Victoria in 1838. The Round Cambridge Emerald Brooch The Round Cubichon Emerald surrounded by two rows of diamonds was first owned by the Duchess of Teck. She used it as a detachable piece on a stomacher. The top portion can be worn without the pendant, but the Queen almost always wears the brooch with the pendant attached. The Baguette and Brilliant Bracelet The Queen received this bracelet of diamonds set in platinum from her father, King George VI, in 1949. It was an existing piece and the band features two rows of brilliance with an intertwining border of baguettes and twist in the centre. The Queen Mother's Ruby and Diamond Bouquet Brooch One of the Queen Mother's many brooches was this bouquet of sprays of diamonds and rubies tied with a diamond bow, which has an unknown history. As with the rest of her jewels, it passed to the Queen in 2002, following the Queen Mother's death. It's a delicate and dainty piece, but actually pretty large for a brooch. The Kent Amethyst Demi Perrault This set was owned by Queen Victoria's mother, the Duchess of Kent 
who left it to her daughter. Queen Victoria subsequently left the set to the crown, making these pieces some of the oldest in regular use. They have passed down from queen to queen. The HMS Ocean Brooch the Queen is Lady Sponsor of the HMS Ocean, a Royal Navy amphibious assault ship and helicopter carrier. The rope details outlines the bottom of the brooch with three tridents rising up from the waves. Consultation from the ship's officers was taken into account, resulting in a brooch made of bright polished sterling silver with sapphire pavé set into the waves and intricate detailing. The Pearl and Diamond Demi Perreux this set includes a six-strand pearl necklace and a pair of matching earrings. The necklace has small diamond plaques, each including six marquees cut diamonds and one round diamond spanning two strands of pearls and one large off-centre plaque spanning all six strands. The earrings each have a group of diamonds on top of a group of pearls. The Vanguard Rose Brooch In 1944, Princess Elizabeth launched the ship HMS Vanguard and was presented with this antique diamond brooch in the shape of a wild rose with leaves. The stem tied with a small bow. It was worn often in her early years. But as the Queen's brooch options expanded, it has been used less and less. The Diamond Chandelier Drop Demi Perreux A matched set of a necklace and a pair of earrings. This Demi Perreux is made of diamonds in multiple intricate pendants, each tipped with a pear-shaped diamond drop. The Queen has used this set fairly often. The Grenadier Guards Badge the Queen was appointed Colonel of the Grenadier Guards back in 1942, when she was still Princess Elizabeth. As Queen, she is the Colonel-in-Chief, and she has a badge she uses in connection with the regiment. Queen Victoria's Bracelet Each of the five links of this bracelet contain nine diamonds of considerable size. They are surrounded by a diamond foliage setting. When in use and from afar, the larger diamonds are what truly stand out. This was made for Queen Victoria in 1838 and it was designated by her as an heirloom of the crown. The Emerald Tassel Perreux the set includes earrings, a necklace, a bracelet and at least one ring. The necklace and earrings incorporate diamonds and emeralds set in gold in a design of knots and tassels with emerald ends. The Duke of Lancaster's Regiment Badge This regiment formed in 2006. It is represented by a badge featuring a red Lancaster rose and a laurel with a crown on top and scroll on the bottom reading the regiment's motto, Difficulties be damned, in Latin. The Diamond and Gold Cuff Demi Perreux there are several mystery pieces in the Queen's vault, jewels which have been worn in public only a couple of times and come without much to indicate a potential provenance. Here's one, a demi perreur of matching necklace and bracelet. The necklace featuring vertical bars of diamonds creating a continuous sparkle cuff of diamonds in a yellow gold setting. The ruby and gold flower brooch this gold brooch set with diamonds and rubies in a trellis floral design isn't often seen 
It was a wedding gift from the Principality of Monaco. The Queen Mother's Cartier Bracelet Quintet. This set of five Art Deco bracelets were given individually as presents from King George VI, the Duke of York, to his wife, Queen Elizabeth, the Duchess of York later the Queen Mother for birthdays and Christmases from 1923 to 1925. The diamond bracelets have different colour baguette centres, one ruby, one emerald, one sapphire and two diamonds. Queen Victoria's crown ruby earrings and necklace. Queen Victoria bought these in 1854, a magnificent necklace of opals surrounded by diamonds, with a matching pendant, drop earrings, and a brooch. No fan of opals, Queen Alexandra had the earrings and necklace switched for stunning large Burmese rubies given to Queen Victoria by rulers from India and surrounding areas. The Australian Hibiscus Brooch A gift to the Queen Mother from Australia. This brooch depicts two diamond Australian hibiscus flowers with ruby centres. The Queen has a particular fondness for wearing this brooch on deep red outfits. Queen Mary's Pearl Bracelet one of Queen Mary's many treasures. This bracelet has five rows of pearls and a diamond clasp. Engagement and wedding rings. The Queen wears her wedding and engagement rings every day, though thanks to her glove wearing habit, we only spot them once in a while. The platinum and diamond engagement ring has a central three carat solitaire flanked by diamonds on each side and was made from a dismantled tiara that belonged to Prince Philip's mother. Her wedding ring is made from Welsh gold. The Malta Aquamarine Brooch Featuring an oval aquamarine stone with a diamond setting and a large diamond surround. The Queen debuted this brooch when she opened the 2015 session of the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in Malta. The Sapphire and Diamond 18th Birthday Bracelet King George's apparent fondness for sapphires was notably documented through gifts to his wife and eldest daughter. The bracelet features square sapphire stones separated by diamond links and accented with diamond loop details. The Sapphire Tassel Demi Perreux. This set of sapphire and diamonds is centred around a necklace of multiple diamond strands which come together in a central knot accented by a sapphire with a tassel of three diamond strands with sapphire pendants hanging below. It also includes earrings, each with a cluster of three sapphires surrounded by diamonds. The Tudor Rose Brooch this is a representation of the famous five petal red Tudor rose with its white center made of platinum, rubies and diamonds. It belongs to a set of four brooches given to the Queen by the Sultan of Oman. The Barring Ruby Necklace this necklace was acquired by the Queen in 1964. It had formerly belonged to the Baring Collection. It is thought that the three central pendants, each a flat cut ruby surrounded by brilliants, were originally used as a pair of earrings and a pendant before they were turned into pendants on this necklace of ruby and diamond clusters separated by single diamonds. 
Queen Alexandra's wedding parure. Albert Edward, Prince of Wales, son of Queen Victoria and the future King Edward VII, purchased a magnificent parure for his bride, Princess Alexandra of Denmark, as a gift for their 1863 wedding. This set includes a large diamond tiara, plus a diamond and pearl necklace, set of earrings, and brooch. Alexandra wore the brooch, necklace and earrings on their wedding day and she continued to wear the set for important occasions throughout her life. And this concludes the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this please click the like button, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for future videos. Thank you.